Welcome everyone to Armor Warfare, this is the Cynical Romanian and today I will be bringing you a complete tank review for you on the tier 7 main battle tank, the M1 Abrams. Alternatively, if you have no intention of playing this tank, then stick around anyway as I'll show you how to effectively take it out on the battlefield. Alrighty then everyone, here we are in the garage. Uh, and this is the M1 Abrams and all its the original M1 Abrams, the Captain America and all its splendor and beauty and it is a nice looking tank. I've always, personally, I've always liked the Abrams series of tanks. But the real question is, question is, is it good? Is it as good in game as it was in real life? Well, the answer to that question is no. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna come out and say this right off the bat. This is going to sound very negative. This entire review will sound negative. Please don't take it as such. It's not negative. It is what it is. I call it as I see it. Um, the tank really isn't that good. I'm sorry to say. So, but before we talk uh, in depth about why the tank is not good, let's compare it. Let's see how it stacks up to all the other tier 7 main battle tanks. Alright, here we are comparing the Abrams to all the other uh, tier 7 main battle tanks, T-80 Type 90-2, uh, Leopard 2 and Challenger 1. Um, I'm not gonna include the Mirkova because it's a premium tank. So starting with the Abrams, 429mm, that is, doesn't even come close to the, the T-80 and Type 90-2, uh, reigning supreme with 501 and 509 respectively. The Leopard 2 over with 440 and the Challenger 1 lagging behind with 423 millimeters. Um, DPM again Abrams 3142 really not even close to the T80 and Type 92 which have 4055 and 3812 respectively. A Leopard 2 over the Abrams with 3206 not by much but enough to be over it so to speak and the challenging one again lagging behind with 366 now i should mention that all of these uh, the dpm the dpm values are completely base and no no modules no crew skills nothing includes this these are base dpms with the top armor piercing uh, ammunition gun depression Abrams, one of the good things about this tank is its gun depression, 10 degrees uh, over the front of the tank. All of these values are over the front of the tank. Um, T80, a uh, respectable 7 degrees, considering it's a Soviet tank. Type 90, 1 degrees more than the T80 with 8. Leopard 2, also 10 degrees. And the Challenger. One well, it's not exactly lagging. It's equal with uh, the T80 with seven degrees. So as you can see, the Abrams, uh, the area which is suffers the most obviously the penetration, and the DPM. If you compare it to tanks like the T80, the Type 9, even the Leopard 2, comes ahead at penetration and DPM. So the news is not dire but it's not uh, amazing either the challenger one may lag behind uh, in penetration and dpm but what it lacks in firepower it more than compensates with in uh, armor protection so these are all the tier 7 main battle tanks compared with m1 abrams alrighty then so let's see why the tank isn't that good now as you saw in the tank compare damage penetration dpm aren't that incredible um i'd say the penetration is uh, well it's barely enough to contend with the equal tier main battle tanks let alone higher tiers but the damage, the damage 419, it's almost tier 6 level of uh, alpha damage. It's diabolically bad. Damage per minute, again, this is with uh, uh, 
an advanced crew it's with um, retrofits and whatnot now I would like to say that if you end up firing its heat ammunition as you can see 535 damage the DPM goes up to 4012 stock DPM which is incredibly good that is of course if you can uh, if you can penetrate as it, as the heat uh, penetration is very low the 341 but if you can penetrate it almost always ends up in well really damage stacking up because it's, uh, of its uh, 7.5 rate uh, uh, rounds per minute coupled with the high alpha damage of the heat can end up uh, with uh, a lot of damage dealt uh, hit points the tank has a, uh, a nice uh, hit point pool 2540 now I have uh, one health two health uh, hit point retrofits uh, it's second uh, by hit points after the challenge uh, challenger one which is good because it needs every single every single hit point it can max speed 72.72 kilometers per hour now I can tell you that's kind of a fictional top speed mostly on flat terrain it's gonna hit 60 65 maybe you're only ever gonna see that 72 uh, top speed if you're going downhill I mean really downhill and the acceleration 6.46 seconds is <laughs> not very good it's barely above the challenger one and uh, uh, when it comes to mobility uh, i would highly recommend because the tank uh, the m1 abrams comes with two universal retrofits one armor and one firepower i would highly recommend that you use those two universal retrofits to improve its mobility i highly recommend it i have one myself it comes in very handy especially if you can when it comes to tractivers because the tank turns like well you're gonna see how well it turns camouflage irrelevant it's a main battle tank view range it's pretty decent and you're gonna see this with all the uh, m1s with decent view range and here is where the tank really shines and you're gonna see this with all the uh, Abrams variants the M1A1, A2 and the XM1A3 the gun handling the, all these tanks have excellent gun handling 10 degrees of gun depression with zero over the back because of this gigantic uh, engine uh, engine bay uh, 0 0.10 accuracy spread which, which is very very good and 2.5 sec seconds in time unfortunately that's the way the good news ends the turret traverse is an awful well it's really really mediocre it's bad it's not awful but it's bad 32.48 degrees per second and do not even ask me how slow the turret turns if your turret ring gets damaged and it, trust me it will get damaged over and over and over right well so far we've um, established that the M1 Abrams is mediocre at best well let's see why it's really 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 bad why it's let down and that's because of the armor now if you look at the modifiers the modifiers are okay unfortunately the base armor values are really low so low in fact that well as you can see lower plate 388 millimeters that's really bad front of the turret um 403 millimeters this slab and this slab over here the cheeks of the turret if you will they're slowed sloped back uh forming a sort of uh, plow so it's actually much better than 400 feet this is if you would shoot at it like this unfortunately there is literally no reason to shoot it over here when it has not one frontally of course not one not two not three but four weak points four weak points yes and let's take a look at them the biggest and most obvious of course is the lower plate it's gigantic 
it's easy to penetrate if you have if you're in a t80 or anything really with 500 plus millimeters just aim for the lower plate you will go through with the relative ease second weak point and it's unfortunately this one plagues all of the abrams tanks this uh, driver hatch or viewport however you want to call it it's a prominent weak spot it's really easily penetratable uh even tier 5 tanks can penetrate this if, it, if they if they can get enough close enough to hit it uh not even talking about higher tier tanks it's it's really bad it's really bad the if you go into a face act situation with the neighbors just aim for here you will be highly unlikely to not penetrate and if you are playing an Abrams, do not let them, for the love of God, do not let them face argue. Uh, because, yeah, they will penetrate. And if you do face hug them, try to wiggle the front of your tank as much as possible. Never stand still. And this applies to the lower plate as well. Wiggle the tank as much as you possibly can to, I don't know, throw them, throw off their aim. Maybe they hit some other part of the, the tank. And you can ricochet other if you stand still just this tank will get penetrated over and over and over the third weak point is right above the driver slit it's this gigantic hole under the gun which leads to the turret ring and the turret ring yay now the turret ring it's 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 a weird one because sometimes you will get Penetrated and you will get your uh, turret ring damaged, but take no no actual hit point damage This has happened to me on a number of times where I took uh, a sh uh, I took a shell to the turret ring it got damaged in some cases even destroyed I had to repair it obviously, but I take took no hit point damage. It can happen It happens quite often actually more often than I would uh, that I'm com I'm comfortable with, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise, well, you're gonna get damaged because the turret ring is really weak, and because of this gigantic hole on the especially if you have your gun up, it's even e easier to hit. As you can see, it's pretty prominent actually. And the third weak point, it's not actually a weak point per se, is this up here this viewport up here that bird's nest will get uh, penetrated very easily but fortunately it's not a critical uh, part of the tank which means you're not gonna take full damage now that's the front of the tank if you go to the side um, as you can see 388 millimeters that's only the front of the turret the back where the ammo racks are contained are much easier to penetrate the side of the armor and rear of the armor are garbage do not even get me started on the rear of the uh, of the tank also would like to highlight the rear of the tank where the engine is stored if you hit this zone over here you are very likely to damage destroy or set the tank on fire because of the prominent engine bay it's really that's really one of the also if you hit this region at the back especially if you're in an armor fighting vehicle with an auto cannon hit hit the in the uh, rear of the tank right here and you will get uh, critical hits over and over for increased damage and you'll absolutely destroy the tank also uh, quick reminder zero gun depression over the back of the tank because the gun comes basically the because of the engine bay which is elevated as you can see you will not be able to fire over the back of the tank so if you get flanked you're screwed as it were now that's versus uh, armor piercing versus safe shape charge it's a little better as you can see the multiplier is 2.770 it's actually very good which gives you a nice 675 
millimeters on the lower plate, 702 on the sloped cheeks of the turret, uh, 270 on the side of the turret is not very good, but usually you tank with the, the front of your tank, not with the sides. The sides of the tank, uh, 270, not that good. Side of the turret, 675, it's pretty good, but again, that 675 is uh, over to the front of the turret, to the back is easier to penetrate. The rear, again, it's negligible. Uh, I'm, I would like to say if you're firing uh, heat ammo, avoid this part over here and instead go for the upper uh, uh, engine bay above the tracks. Uh, which is uh, not spaced and you're, you're gonna be able to go it through it reliably and easier so yeah 700 and 675 is gonna give you some leeway against uh, lower tier ATGMs perhaps tier 6 upwards of tier 6 but as soon as you get to tier 7 uh, ATGM start to get uh, 800 plus millimeters of penetration so you're not gonna be able to withstand it that much the best uh, advice I can give anyone driving this tank regardless of what it's getting shot at with uh, AP uh, heat or uh, ATGMs go hold down as hold down as you can get because of the 10 degrees of gun depression Hide your lower plate, hide your turret, hide your driver's set, hide your turret ring, hide it, hide it all if you can. If you can't, well, you're gonna see what happens. I would like to say that the high explosive ammunition on this tank, uh, it's called high explosive plastic. It's a fancy way of saying it has 50%. Um, module uh, bonus module damage which, be, which means uh, it's a very good harassing uh, ammunition if you camp and you will be you will have be having a very hard time to penetrate higher tier tanks uh, god forbid if you encounter tier uh, 9 tanks you're screwed you can spam this high explosive plastic at them because of its uh, increased module damage Lower penetration, the higher module damage. It's a great harassment tool. So, yes. Uh, to recap, hide your lower plate, hide your driver hatch, hide your uh, turret ring if you can. If you can't, you're gonna get penetrated over and over and over and over again. It will suck the will to live right out of you. I, I'm not even joking. So, the M1 Abrams, yes, uh, I really wish, I really, really wish this tank was better, but it's not. It's outshined by pretty much every, every other tier 7 main battle tank. Except for, of course, the Challenger, which has the shittiest uh, firepower. However, like I said, the Challenger, where it lacks in firepower, it more than makes up in armor. I mean, that thing is a rolling bunker. It's not even funny. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. Call it like I see it. Alright, so before we end the review, let's go into the gameplay. Now, before we get into the set gameplay, I would like to say that I, I tried to get a good game. I just couldn't. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I played for a week. I played my socks off. And the games I got were either absolute disasters, either because uh, I was a uh, bottom tier, or because my team was absolute garbage or because the tank is just well not that good uh, so the games you're gonna have today well are not are not uh, so incredible I have one short PvP game and one uh, one PvE game 
I, I tried, I'm sorry guys, I wish I could gi give you more exciting gameplay, I just couldn't, uh, which should reflect on how how mediocre, how bad the tank is. It, it tries to be too many things at once. So without further ado, let's get into the, into the gameplay. Alrighty then, here we are in the PvP game, it's Lost Island, uh, we're top tier. Now what you're gonna see usually at tier 7 is lots and lots of challengers, lots and lots of uh, weasels, unfortunately. Um, for the most part this game is unremarkable, I wish I could say it's special, but it's not. Um, I chose this game to highlight some of its weaknesses, namely uh, the turret ring. So yeah, before we get into that, let's speed up the game because again, it's really not interesting. Nothing really happens. Heading towards the middle uh, cap point here. Alright, so we've reached this position. Unfortunately, I don't really position myself very well. And I'm as a result I'm gonna get penetrated very very soon. And there it goes. That leopard tube penetrated me in the turret ring. Easily as saying hello. But then again it was my mistake. It was a bad play. Let's see if I can <laughs> let's uh round two again and this time it damaged my turret ring. I repair it. So this can kind of give you a an idea of how the how weak the weak points of this uh, tank are. Now I flank around over here. I saw this uh, XM1 on low hit points in trouble. I tried to help him out. I go around. I see a mirror cover with the uh, with the side. The side of the tank this way and uh, Mirkava has one of the worst uh, side armor in the game. I dunked the first shot and I think I, yeah I penetrate the second. Now he's angling as best he can but like I said 40 millimeters here comes the leopard 2 again. I bounce the return shot I bounce on the Mirkova and now I try to penetrate the Leopard 2 but 429 is just not enough to penetrate the Leopard 2 frontally. It is enough to go through the the cupolas as you're gonna see there it is but because it's not a critical uh, part of the tank it will take reduced damage. And now he's, what he's doing here is rolling retreat. I penetrate him in the side of the turret, but now he has the front of the tank pointing at me and it's just something I can do with 429. Uh, next, I try to hit the challenger in the side, but just absorbed by the ERA plates. There it is, that was my shot. Failing to penetrate the side of a challenger. So yeah, we've got them on the run. And from here I see the AFD rush, the light tank rush, and this is a heat. And this is why, if you can, you should use the heat ammunition. As you saw there, 602 damage, that is gigantic. Again, I see a weasel, 587 damage. So, as you can see, the heat ammunition, if you can penetrate tanks with it, use it. It's worth it. It will jump. It will boost your DPM uh, way over the armor piercing, and that's kind of it for this game. The rest is well, not that exciting. Uh, the rest of the game, nothing happens. I just, I just try to chase down armor fighting vehicles, which is not in this tank. Pointless. So. Let's get into the let's get into the PV game, shall we?
Alrighty then, here we are in the PvE game, it's Rolling Thunder. Um, and the matchup is, well, this is the best matchup you can get with an Abrams. This is where the Abrams is a, does well. Uh, if it's stopped here, if, for God, God forbid, you get uh, smashed up with higher tier tanks in PvE games, the best advice I can give you is to go full down because the AIs uh, tier 8 and upwards will absolutely go through your lower plate and turret rings like they were made out of wet tissue paper. Do not even try. Do not even try. Because it is bad. But over here I'm top tier and well again this game is not anything special i bounced the shot on the ram car which should give you some idea of uh, of the penetration and there it is right there the 419 alpha damage low rolling uh again nothing nothing really interesting happens i set that tank on for the le that leopard on fire The rate of fire is good, unfortunately the alpha damage is bad, it's an anti antithesis, it is what it is. Okay, let's fast forward to where the real interesting stuff happens. There it is again, I bounce on the terminator, which should give you some idea of how bad the penetration is. And right here, this is where the interesting bit happens now that over there is a, um, an m8 thunderbolt a fragile m8 thunderbolt fragile meaning well it's worse it has lower stats than a normal version of uh, the same tank but as you're gonna see even a fragile m8 thunderbolt will destroy my lower plate here it comes here it comes in a moment in a moment and here it comes there it is. and because it's fragile it does less damage but even a fragile m8 thunderbolt has enough penetration to completely butter the lower plate and there it is again in the lower plate yeah N be afraid be very very af and there is the heat ammunition again taking big chunks chunks out of uh, weekly armor tank um yes so be very very afraid of ma thunderbolts fragile salvaged normal as you can see here i'm getting penetrated by Autocannons by the Terminator 2. Fair enough, it's Terminator 2. Um, yeah. Be very afraid of MA Thunderbolts, of AI MA, MA Thunderbolts. They will absolutely destroy your lower plate and turret rings. Uh, your best bet is to go hold down or wiggle. Wiggle like your life depending on it. And it will depend on it because. Sometimes you're gonna get paired up with uh, tanks that are higher tier than you. It's inevitable. Right. Now from here, nothing, uh, again, nothing interesting happens. It's just going further, continuing the scenario, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, uh, I, this is really not very entertaining. I wish I could give you exciting gameplay, but... This is... I don't really don't know what that uh, VFM is doing. AI, why can I say it's having an epileptic fit back there. Again, the heat ammunition. Now I uh, go around the corner with my side and that table is penetrated. That shot it was always going to penetrate me. I didn't even care at this point. I just wanted to shoot that Abrams. But now I'm going to 
go around the corner with my lower plate angled I take a shot to the tracks and yeah it's an Abrams it's not gonna penetrate my lower plate again look it, I bounce and that's it yeah this is really kind of it that's like I said out of a week of playing this tank these two games are the most exciting I, I've, I've had which should give you a, some idea of how diabolical all the other games have been yeah right sorry guys it is what it is all right ladies, ladies and gentlemen in conclusion M1 Abrams I said at the beginning of the video that it's gonna sound negative I'm gonna sound like a hater I really don't hate tank I really really wanted it to be good unfortunately it's not it's one of those jack of all trades master of none emphasis on the master of none bit because it tries to be too many things and it kind of fails at all of them yeah is it worth the grind well that depends on your expectations if all you want uh, is to get the M1A1 you're gonna have to grind with it unfortunately unless of course you have 500 something thousand uh, uh, global reputation at your disposal uh, if you're at the uh, tier 6 main battle tank the XM1 take your time in my honest opinion the XM1 is much better for its tier than the Abrams is uh, is it worth keeping? Well, if you're a tank collector, again, you're gonna keep it regardless of what I say. But for everyone else, nope. Sorry, sell it. Sell it as soon as you possibly can. In fact, as of the making of this video, I would have sold it. And I'm already playing the M1A1, which is it's not even in the same league. It's much better than the previous M1 Abrams right guys that's it that's the M1 Abrams tank review I apologize it sounded so negative I really I really don't hate the tank I, I wanted to like it I wanted for it to be good but it's not so like I said I call it as I see it let me know in the comments below what you think of the M of the M1 Abrams uh, if you agree if you think it's shit if you think it needs some buffs if you think it's fine, if you think it's, well, not fine, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the, in another video. Stay together. I tried to take a shot at, uh, at that uh, M60, but I didn't have enough gun depression. And here it comes right about now. There it is. I get penetrated in the...